and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another No Leftover Paper Scraps episode, um, and I believe this is episode number 10. Um, I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while. Um, it was before Christmas, I think, when I had my last one, um, where I did the, the little shabby chic dress forms. And today I decided to show you guys um, one of the ways I love using my paper scraps, my leftover paper scraps, and that is to create little cluster embellishments. Um, so here is kind of a wide variety of cluster embellishments that I've made over the past couple of weeks using paper scraps. And the one nice thing about um, cluster embellishments is that you can use them in so many different projects. Um, you can add them to your junk journals, you can add them to cards, you can add them to bag toppers, you can put them in your scrapbook pages, um, your mini albums. Um, there's just all sorts of ideas. So I do love using these embellishments for all sorts of different reasons. So the first set I'm showing you guys when I was creating them, I was kind of thinking that I would probably end up eventually using them in a junk journal. Um, and then the other thing about making cluster embellishments is you can make them in all sorts of different styles, whatever your style is, whether it's shabby chic or it's vintage, if you like clean and simple, um, steampunk. Um, so it's kind of an embellishment technique that lends itself to all sorts of different styles, which is another great purpose for um, the cluster embellishments. So again, um, this first set that I'm showing you are ones that are kind of more of in a vintage style that I created, and I was thinking I would probably eventually use them in a junk journal down the road, or else give them out to people in Happy Mail <coughs> that they could also use in their junk journals. And so on a lot of these, it's all paper scraps or pieces left over from other projects. So I didn't cut up any brand new pieces of paper or anything like that um, to create any of my die cuts or my stamped images. Um, they're all just leftover bits and pieces from other projects. And so here is the first one that I'm going to show you guys. And as you can see, if you look at the back side, um, that's kind of what it looks like on the back side. But I just started off with this little... Um, piece right here, this little oval, and this oval actually comes from the inside piece. I have a die cut, it's a Sizzix die cut, it's a Tim Holtz one of a frame that I love using in projects, but the middle of it cuts out with this nice circle, and so I always save it and use it um, in creating embellishments down the road, and so I just went ahead and inked the edges, and then on top of that I layered this scrap piece of paper. Um, a while back, I think I created an index card for Gracie 21. I also created an ATC. <coughs> and then I also think uh, um, maybe an index card too for um, Happily Ella After. And then I think I used um, this paper on something else. But I had have lots of little pieces of this left. And I actually have a couple bigger 6x6 six six pieces that I'm going to save for making um, cards. But I did take all the little pieces like this and I created these three little embellishments right here from that. So that's where those papers came from. On top of here, I layered this little envelope, which is a rubber stamp that I have. And so I just scrapped, or stamped it on a scrap piece of paper. I will often do that when I have small um, white or off-white pieces of paper. I will just rubber stamp um, images that I use quite a bit and then later on I'll pull them out and cut them up and use them on my projects because it goes faster than you don't have to stamp them again you already have pieces so that's an another great way to use up your scraps is just to stamp images and then pull them out as you need them on top of that I did layer a sticker and I had purchased these stickers um, a long time ago at a D-Stash rummage sale at our local craft store and so I do have a few of them but it wasn't a full sheet, and I thought that that looked kind of cute on there. So I did go ahead and add that sticker. And this is also a sticker um, that I have just a few of those left over from some other project. These stickers are actually quite dimensional, and there was three or four pieces of foam in between the layers. And so I just took the layers apart, and then I made it flat by gluing it, um, just because I think I want to use these in junk journals. So I did want this to be... A little bit flatter and not dimensional so I did um, take those stickers apart to do that. So this one is very similar. Um, I did again use one of those stickers that I took apart and re-glued. In the background I still have some of that peach paper that I was talking about. I layered up a scrap piece of 
lace trim that was sitting on my desk that was left over from another project. Um, I did have, actually, I just punched this um, oval back here out using some leftover paper that I had in my stash. On top of that, I layered these angel wings and a heart that I also cut out. Um, and real quick, if anybody knows where I can buy some more of these angel wings, if you'd put that in your comments, I would love that. There's some angel wings that I purchased like I think 15 or 20 years ago. You could buy a whole bunch of them and they were in a big sheet and then you just cut them apart. Um, and this was my last um, last ones that I had. So I would like to purchase some more if I can find them. Um, the heart is actually a die cut from Tim Holtz. It's a Sizzix one and there's a whole bunch of these kind of primitive hearts on there. And so um, about a week ago, I did go ahead and cut out a whole bunch of these hearts out of leftover um, music paper that I had and then also book pages. Um, I, When I make my junk journals, sometimes I do tear apart books and so I have lots of book pages left over and so I don't like to waste those book pages so I do eventually use them in my projects but I did cut out a whole bunch of hearts and um, you can kind of see I have them in this bag right here so now I'm ready to go when I need a little heart um, and I just broke them up into the different sizes of heart and so again on this one um, that same peach paper in the background right here this little square piece that I had that was actually left over from some sort of um, digital image that I had from making my junk journals and it was just a scrap piece but it was vintage looking and so I kept it for a layering piece and an embellishment. On top of that I did put just some leftover lace trim. I had this little sentiment left over from another project so I added that. It just says follow your heart. Your heart. I have another one of those die cut hearts that I just talked about another one of those envelopes and then I also had some leftover burlap from this Christmas time I made it that um, primitive loaded envelope and I used some burlap in that and so I just have some pieces sitting on my desk so I went ahead and added that to that one. So those are um, more of the vintage kind of style cluster embellishments. Um, not too long ago I participated in Scrap Divas Challenge where I used some Simple Stories Vintage Bliss Paper and I've also used this paper collection for some different pocket letters way back in the past and so I still have qu quite a few scraps left from those projects and so I went ahead and created some cluster embellishments. Again the nice thing about cluster embellishments is that you can make really small ones or you can make really big big sized ones. So this one again I just punched out a square. I added the little um flag right there with the heart on it and I just added one of Tim Holtz's um, stickers that says choose happiness on it. Um, so really cute embellishment. Um, again I just layered up some pieces from that paper collection. It had some bingo pieces that I cut out. Um, I added some leftover Rick Rack trim. Um, just a lot of little scraps from that paper collection for that one. So I added those. Um, here's another very similar one to the past one that I did. Again, layering up stickers and a couple die cuts. Um, just different pieces. Here's another little bit smaller one. These smaller ones, again, would look really good as bag toppers or you could add them to pocket letters because um, they're small enough. Here is another one that I had that I created. And again, all, these are all left over from paper scraps. Here's one also that I created. And then here is another little one. And then I have a final set that I'm just kind of starting on. I still have more scraps on my desk, but um, I don't know that I'll do another video with these cluster embellishments. So I'm just showing you the ones I have completed so far. I've been working with the World's Fair Graphic 45 paper collection, and so I had some little pieces left over. And so I'm just starting to make some little cluster embellishments. So here's that one that I created and then I added the little bingo piece to it. Um, another little one that I created. Here's a little bit bigger one. And this one you guys can see, this one I really use like little, the tiny little paper strips. I know a lot of people throw them away. 
but I do like to use my paper strips in cluster embellishments and even just taking your paper strips and adding them to the insides of your cards is a great way to use them instead of throwing them in your garbage. So that was another little embellishment that I created. And then here was one I created also with a graphic um, 45 paper. And this one, I'm not quite sure if I'll end up using it as a belly band in a junk journal, but I could also very easily just take my paper trimmer and trim it and make it a little bit smaller and use it um, that way too. So sometimes when I make my little cluster embellishments, I might make them just a little bit longer in case I do want to add them to a card or make them into a belly band, I can, but I can also very easily cut it apart. And so that is um, all the cluster embellishments that I have to show you guys today. Um, but again, they're a quick and easy thing that you can make out of paper scraps just sitting on your desk and bits and pieces left over from other projects. It's kind of a fun way to use up your paper scraps. If you guys have any questions, um, please leave them below. And of course, leave your comments. I love to hear about them. Um, so thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.